Hey, 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 my name is Polish Kings. Welcome to Just Deserts. Uh, after Panty Party. Which I said is being recorded because of software messing up with Just Desert previously. Now I have to start over. I wanted to reset the history for my own. Uh, from my own brain a bit. I think I still remember a lot for. But let's get to it. I feel like I will still enjoy it a lot. So. I had to delete like bazillion of save files as well. So the first name. Let's go like this. Because it's apparently my name, even if I write it differently normally. <clears throat> Faster than light. Travel. Advanced propulsion. Technology. Energy weapons. The possibilities are endless. It's rare for us to be in contact with advanced alien civilization. We have to gather as much information about them as we can. The human race shall rise to new haves. Interstellar colonization will be within our grasp. A second renaissance will begin anew. We can solve the energy crisis, world hunger, poverty, everything! Huh. And suddenly you know those guys are not Americans. Everything, as the human race was slowly killing themselves, a salvation capable, we have to seize it at all costs. As I'm saying, I'm sorry for saying that, but it's true. Arthur, the Earth is in danger. An unknown entity has arrived on our doorstep. We don't know where they came from, what they want, or what their capabilities are. Will they pose a threat or not? Science is perpetually curious in nature. For as long as we have existed, humans have always been trying to seek out the truth. Mm -hmm. Humans act according to their thoughts. Mm -hmm. But before we can take action, we must know the truth. However you want to do is up to you. I don't understand, man. What are you talking about? What should I do? What's the mission? Assassination. Reckon. Defense, or is it a war? You'll find out soon enough. For now, we want you to simply be there. As is the base, and we can. We'll have your orders once we have enough intel. In theory, you should have the ability to fight them. Keep that in mind. In theory. Dun, 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 dun. Rise and shine, Lieutenant, we are here. Yeah, I guess that might have been... That is a good choice of music. For a ride on the desert. Maybe on in an old pickup. At least that's what my imagination is telling me. Yeah, yeah. I look out the window and see... Desert. Stretching further than the eye can see. Freaking hot sound everywhere. Ah. Where is Aquarian City? Nowhere it is, yes. We're going straight to the base. Alright then. Outside Barak. We're here with end. Alright, thanks for the ride. Still, it's hard to believe that terrorists are playing a town on Aquarian City. Make sure to kick the rust, okay? And take care not to die in the desert. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> I, I, I can't force laughter out of myself. I don't know why. It always needs to be some sort of genuine. How ironic would be if his car suddenly broke down in the middle of the desert. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Alright, now to find the many charge here. Guess I'll just ask some random soldier. Uh, excuse me, who's in charge here? That would be General Corelia. You can find her in CIC or the control room. It's that huge tent over there. Are you Arthur? I am. Sir! We've been expecting you. Right, right. Thanks for the info. Cornelia, that's a woman's name, right? It's 21st century, you can't really predict what what you can... I don't know where I'm going with those thoughts. 
Let's go meet her, shall we? Excuse me. I'm looking for General Cornelia. You're looking at her. Okay. Mom. It's something, wrong, Mom. Why is she staring at me? No, it's just... I thought you'd be another female soldier. No. Ha. Huh. Is she expecting someone else? Oh, this is Yumi. She's in charge of comms and support. Anytime someone saved your ass on the field, it's thanks to her. I wish that were true, but we'll get to this during the fight, if I won't forget. N nice to meet you, Lieutenant. Of course, I'll depend on you. Or something like this. She looks like a nice girl. A bit shy for. Alright. That's enough pleasantries. Yeah, from the two, Cornelia more my, more my type. Now, I assume you have been briefed on your tasks on the way here? Or haven't you? I have no idea what I'm doing here, actually. Alright. I'll paraphrase the words of the higher-ups. Hunt the mosquitoes. Hopefully I'll hunt this down later. Your mission here is reconnaissance and defense, meaning that you will help with information gathering on these things and also act as the one and only line of defense for Aquarine City. This base is a black site, meaning that the public must not know of our activity here. Right now, outsiders think that this base is an ordinary forward operating base, and we intend to keep it that way. So, we must keep the threat contained on this side of the desert. Okay. Understood? Sure. Yes, ma'am. This tent you're in is the Combat Information Center, yeah, I CIC, know or Control Room. They told me. Here we analyze and sort data from the battlefield to support our personnel. Data. If you have data. more questions, Feel free to come here. If I'm not available, you can direct all questions to the Executive Officer Exo Staff Sergeant Yumi. Call sign, Big Brother. I wish she was not called that. Also, I don't really understand why you still said the Exo. I mean, that's what Executive Ex Officer is basically. So, there was no need to read that. Yumi, or man say the that. station, please. I'll be taking Lieutenant to meet the other members. Man, they still don't say names. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> or something like this. Goodbye. Sure, sure. I'll be seeing you around, Exo Yumi. And salute again. Oh, <sighs> before I forget, take this. An earpiece. Yes, we need to stay in touch at all times, in case of emergencies and the like. Right. A bone conduction earpiece, huh? I thought give me something more sophisticated, like subdermal implants or something. If you're done, follow me. With pleasure. <laughs> right away, miss, uh, I mean, mom. Several people are gathering near a helicopter. Probably post flight checks. Morning, Jen. And here comes my favorite girl. Morning, Captain. Let me introduce you to our newest lieutenant. He's just arrived here. Hmm. <laughs> what are you laughing about? You're pretty cute. Nice to meet you. You're pretty cute too. Nice to meet you too. Cute. The cute ones, here are you girls. Or maybe my face is too feminine after all. No, but she's cute, so let it slide. Nice to meet you. Jennifer, don't tease the new guy. Don't worry, I don't mind that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. 
It's just his expression is so funny. Are they? <sighs> Jennifer here is responsible of close air support. C-A-S. She'll be flying that big and fully loaded attack helicopter over there. Really, I feel like you don't need to read what's in the brackets. But maybe it's just me. <laughs> big and fully loaded. <laughs> big and fully loaded. See, we'll get along with her. Don't quote me out of context. Unless you want to sweep the dust off the desert again. <laughs> Wait, again? Please spare me, ma'am. Anyway, new guy, you can just call me Jennifer. No need for the captain nonsense. I'll see you around, cutie. And I'll see you around too, cutie. See you around, captain. No honorifics. Ah, uh, see you around, cutie. I said this the first time, technically. I'm sorry. Myself. She's a bit unhinged. I will get along with her. I said it. It's fine, ma'am. Maybe I should save. After all, I don't. Just the mustache. I don't like mustache. For with bird, this it would be okay. Is the cafeteria. But without you bird, you say that this is the only place never. where we can find food and beverages in this godforsaken desert. Okay. And surprisingly, there's a lot of choice here. Mm hmm. We don't just sell food here. You can also find items, medicines, and stamina boosters that could save you in the field. Okay. If you have time, swing by often. Okay. Understood. Hmm, she's right. I can see a lot of food and deserts on display. They even have donuts! My favorite food and in my mind the official food of special forces worldwide. I feel like this is the official food of police officers in US for... Yeah, like if you think police officers in US, US, one of the first things that comes to mind, donuts. Lots of them. I don't know. But I have that image. Wait, what did you say? Uh, okay, official food of special forces or not. Maybe I've watched too many cop movies. Maybe. Hmm. I see someone's reflection in the display. Morning, General. Care for some breakfast? And speaking of the girl from the reflection, here she is, Valeria. Now that I think about it, recently there was an announcement. There would be something that I was talking for so many episodes previously that were not released. Now that I'm recording again, basically from the start, I can say it again. I wished through those 10 episodes I recorded, Valeria was also a possibility for a romance. And guess what? Even without me releasing the videos, they are going to deliver that soon. So that's great. Because she's absolutely, she's absolutely cute. Ponytail as well. The ribbon. I mean, it's not a full ribbon I'm super also fond of, but hey, it's still working. Anyway, because I'm really diving to the side with topics. Is she the stallkeeper? Morning, Valeria. I already had breakfast with Yumi, but I'm just escorting the lieutenant here. Report, lieutenant. In Cafeteria Valeria, you can get anything from energy drinks, items, and even donuts with an odd number of crushed peanuts on top. Mm-hmm. Oh, so cool! Roger. Seems like my tummy won't be so miserable after all. By the way, have you seen Cecile? Or Eve? If you're looking for Cecile, she's over there eating pudding as usual. Hmm. <sighs> <sighs> Again. I'm starting to worry about her well-being. She is the chief tech here, for crying out loud. The least she can do is take her body health and nutrition seriously. Well, even though up until now she's always done a good job. Oh, about 
about that. No need to worry, ma'am. She ordered ten cups of that pudding, so I'm sure she has enough carbs and sugar to power that huge brain of hers. <laughs> How is she able to live off that only? Okay, I'm not going to speak. I mean... Ah, uh, university time. Instant food. Energy drinks. Yeah. Hmm, the pudding monster chief technician. Seems like a nursing fellow is probably another greedy girl, right? Still does sound like a girl's name. Let's go greet her, Lieutenant. Okay. Right, ma'am. Uh, um. Mm, mm. Ah. Mm. Please ah. don't make sounds like that when you are eating. Good morning, Sergeant. Good morning. Oh, and also, please don't talk when you are eating. And basically when you have something in your mouth. That line was weird. She's struggling to swallow the last chunks of pudding. She salutes. Good morning, General. Sergeant Cecile, ready for duty. Oh, she's French, by the way. Called it, and she actually managed to eat 10 of those? Just to get those custard creams and puddings makes... My teeth feel like they'll no well rot and fall out my mouth. I've never have been a fan of sweet things, except for... Donuts. Also, what the heck did I do to my hair? I don't know, but I will keep it. Why you ask? Because donuts are round. Doesn't make sense. Roundness is symbol of perfection, union, and integrity. Okay, I yeah, get it. People may not understand it, but all those things are of utmost importance in every mission. And I never fail my missions. That's a risky statement. Starting from a piece of round donut each day. Good morning, Cecile. I thought I already told you that you don't need to be so formal with me, right? Ma'am, I have to stay true to the ethics in this military base. That is my principle, ma'am. What takes you here in this morning, General? Usually, Yumi brings your breakfast to the CIC. Right? Oh, I'm just showing the lieutenant here around while also introducing him to you guys. And it's pretty nice to take a walk sometimes and check up on our personnel. How nice of you, ma'am. Is he the new guy? Good morning, Sergeant Cecile. I'm Arthur. It's a pleasure. I'll be count on you, Sergeant. Salute. Ah, Jesus. Likewise, Lieutenant. I'll do my best not to disappoint you. She salutes and we smile at each other. Even that first impression is pretty unnerving, with all of the hollowed out corpses of pudding and whatnot, apparently she's a good girl. Whatever that line might mean, I can feel devotion in her words. You won't be disappointed, Lieutenant. When it comes to weaponry and anything technical, she's the best we got. <laughs> you praise me too much, ma'am. I'm still nothing compared to you. If you'll excuse me, ma'am, Lieutenant, I need to get back to my work. I'll be seeing you later. Work, work, or eating those puddings work? I guess work, work. Cecilia currently walks away to her workshop. How dedicated. We should go to Lieutenant. Roger. And those unending plots of sand over there, the guys call it the Desert of Eternal Sweat. We usually train there. You can train by yourself or with someone else if you happen to meet them. Okay. And if by chance you get bored by all of the sand, you can go to the coast by following that road over there. Now where is that road, I wonder? Of course, you can also train and play happy splashy in the water if you so desire. Thank god she's so accommodating, it's my first day but even I'm starting to get sick of seeing sand. Understood ma'am, thank you for your consideration. It's not much. 
Oh, right. You can go on a leave any time you want, since you're here under special circumstances. Just make sure that you can be reached at any time. Uh-huh. Understood. Very well. Let's go to the barracks. Whoa! Who's the white-haired cutie? That was surprising. Who is she? Eve, what are you doing here? Weren't you supposed to be on patrol duty today? Looking for something. What are you looking for, Eve? Hmm. What the hell? Why is she not answering? Huh. What's this? Patch, second lieutenant. Is this hers? Sorry, is this what we're looking for? Thank you. Um. Ah, ah. I'm Arthur. I just arrived this morning. Please to meet you. Eve. She started at me. Hmm. hmm? Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. How strange! It's the first time I've ever seen someone like that. What's her name? Eve. Her white hair and red pupils are so wonderful. Too. She looks like a visual novel character. Capital letters. Wow, you can actually communicate with her. I'm impressed. I do? I'm sorry, I don't understand. The fact that you know what she's looking for and even talk to her is nothing short of impressive. It took me three months to make her talk to me. It's probably a coincidence, ma'am. Mostly, I'm as clueless as you. Oh, I see. Eve is our sniper. She recently broke the international record by hitting a target 2.5 kilometers away. I have a lot of faith in her. Hopefully, you can be an effective team in the near future. I checked the record previously. It was the actual record. I don't remember. Something over 3 kilometers, I think. So... I mean, I can check again, I guess. Uh, Boop. It matters, please, exactly. Not some weird thing. Not yards, please. If you tell me this in yards, I'm gonna... S uh, yeah, the, the new record is three and a half. I hope so, ma'am. Uh, um, <clears throat> so, this is the barracks where our personnel sleep. This tent is where you, me, Cecile, Jennifer, Eve, and myself sleep. Congratulations. Uh, and where do I sleep, ma'am? Do I have a separate tent? Here. I don't. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Can you repeat? You'll sleep here in this tent. Okay. In this tent here? Yes. With you girls? Yes. I see. What? I need to keep an eye on you guys. And I really need you to bond as a team. I expect great things. I don't know what exactly she might be expecting. Yes, ma'am. I think that's it for now. Grab some sleep. You must be tired from your flight. We'll continue tomorrow. I actually drove. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Ha, very half-hearted. Very half-hearted salute. <sighs> I should unpack for now. There. All unpacked. Everything is neatly folded and sorted. I should probably take a break now. I sit on my bunk, hoping that it will be at least somewhat comfortable. Nope. It's literally the worst bunk I have ever encountered. 
and I have to sleep here every day. Freak me. And then he said that owls do not live in the desert, so I said... So you said... Whoa. You said, whoa, interesting. What are you doing here, Lieutenant? Uh, unpacking? This is our room, you know. Yeah, technically it's a tent, not room, but let's not get into the details. Uh, unfortunately, probably unfor for me, fortunately, I think, your general, in her infinite wisdom, decided that I should sleep here with you girls. You girls should complain, you know. Is that so? Hmm. I really don't mind, though. You don't? Ha. Huh. Same. What? You don't feel uncomfortable or something? Not really. I mean, your face isn't that manly anyway. I just died a little inside. What? You think we'll get all embarrassed and kick you out or something? Maybe not the embarrassed part, but kick me out, maybe. In that part, I believe. We don't really mind. The one that is troubled is me. This whole situation is bad for my heart. I mean, four, five, five hot girls in the same tent. I mean, I guess the heartbeat might go faster. Alright then. I guess I'll be sleeping next to you then, Lieutenant. Nice. Please take care of me, okay? <laughs> okay. What? Just keep it down at night, okay? Okay. What? <laughs> Look at his face! He's so innocent! Thank you. I know if I should. Yeah! How did she make fun of an innocent man's young heart? Unforgivable. Hey, Sir Eve. Mm. Going to sleep? Mm. <laughs> Alright then. Good night. She just tucked in and left for Dreamland. Amazing. So, tell me, Lieutenant. Huh? Are you a virgin? Mm -hmm. uh, I g guess the character in the game might be. What kind of question is that? See that seal? Look at him. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tease him too much. Then again, it's not something you can judge a person about. Excuse me. Excuse me. What? What's the lieutenant doing here? He'll be sleeping with us, Yumi. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. True, but at the same time... It, it still hurts to hear something like this. Isn't that right, lieutenant? Uh, the dangerous ones here are you girls. Well, I won't bite at least. But you'll do something other than biting, huh? <laughs> That's not what I mean. Jenny, don't tease the lieutenant too much. Again, I don't mind. <laughs> He's too funny. <laughs> don't take anything Jennifer said too hot here, lieutenant. She's just messing around most of the time. Right. You're boring, so... Whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Night, everybody. And she too just tucked in and slept immediately. How are we doing that? I'm envious. Looks like you're settling in just fine, Lieutenant. Am I now? What part of a confession did you take this as set again? <laughs> well, the girls seem to have taken a liking to you. I wish. 
Anyways, I'm just checking up on you here. What do you mean? I'll leave you to your rest now. You, me, let's go. We're going. Yes. Uh... Well then, I'll be going to sleep now, Lieutenant. Uh, yeah, yeah. You should try getting some sleep too. Sure. Easier said than done. Good night. Night. I tagged my bank, hoping that it's more comfortable now than before. It's not. Nope. Still hard as freak. I'll just close my eyes and hope for the best. So this happens as well. All personnel, man, your stations. We're under attack. Repeat, we're under attack. And the attack. What? <gasps> Shit! Wake up, Jin. I'm up. I'm up. Eve. Ready. By the way, she switched clothes, didn't she? Anyway. All right. Get up and man your stations. Right. Do -do -do. Roger. Lieutenant! Soup. So, what's going on? I mean, I, I actually didn't fall asleep, so... No. I don't know. Looks like we are under attack. I still don't know how we managed to fall asleep so well. It's impossible. Here, take this. So it can be a handgun. A handgun. Looks like this isn't a drill. Alright! Lieutenant! Can you hear me? General, what's the situation? Hostiles are coming from the south. I already sent Gamma out there, but they won't last long. No clue who might be in the Gamma. Get out there and fight. Roger that. Be careful out there, Lieutenant. That's my second name. One of the many second names. Yeah. For technically, uh, I've never been given a second name, so we know. What the hell? What is this? Why is everybody unconscious? What is happening? Lieutenant! Okay, there is no voice here. Hey, hey, what's the situation? Our guys are getting decimated, Lieutenant. We need to pull back. <laughs> hey, hey, wake up. That was not a very good waking up from my side. Who's there? Is this the aliens? Where are they? And this guy, he suddenly just went limp, but there is no signs of an external wound. What kind of weapon are they using? Lieutenant! Lieutenant! Do you read me? General, loud and clear, man. What just happened? We lost Gamma. Yeah, I can see that. Why are our guys going limp? It's them, Lieutenant! They can mess with our brain activity somehow. No time to explain. Just keep your distance from them. Uh. Yumi will provide intel as they come. Red Hawk, what's your status? On station above the hot zone. Ready for CAS. Don't worry, I got your back. Uh -huh. Eve, ready for cover fire. Okay. UAV is in position. Cool. I got eyes on you, Lieutenant. Big Brother's watching. Please don't call yourself that. Copy that. Be advised. Hostiles approaching your position rapidly. They're going for you, Lieutenant. I can hear something approaching. What is that? Cubicles. I can see it coming closer. It's a floating cube. So this is what they look like. Shit. I'm trembling even though it didn't look like that's intimidating. I mean, kill me. <laughs> so this is fear, huh? Fear of the unknown. Of the alien. I need to calm down. Soon. I have no idea what he just said. Don't come any closer! What the hell is that noise? Is it them? I have my sides on it, but somehow I can't bring myself to pull the trigger. Uh, I don't know what they're talking. Freak, we are creeping closer. Fine, no other choice. 
Ready on your command, Lieutenant. So we have uh, crappy weapons, unfortunately. We don't have any armor. We have not very much health. So I will need to work on that. Unfortunately, there is... Unfortunately, unfortunately, there is one opponent. Which I can attack once. But... You see, this weapon is... Useful against at least two opponents. Basically, two opponents is the best option actually because you can attack two. So you can shoot it twice against two opponents. Uh, but when there is one opponent, you can't shoot it twice, which is kind of weird. I feel like you should be able to do that as well. Well, what else? Player wins. All clear. Let's head back. Rewards: fifty thousand and metal chunk. So. Okay. <laughs> it's over. They are pretty freaking strong. Hostiles retreating. We're in the clear. Good job, Lieutenant. This is Red Hawk. Should I go after them? Negative, Red Hawk. Come back to base for debriefing. Roger that. Returning to base. Great work. We'd be seriously fucked if you weren't here. Ooh, you can do you're right. Don't worry about me, man. Get the other guys to the sick base up. Roger. Meanwhile. XO, are you seeing this? Yes, ma'am. He's special. <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! He's not affected by them. We can start searching for their ship now. I still can't believe it. Those guys actually did it. Uh, to someone. Is he even still human? Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I am. Also, what did they do to me? The second child. What are you talking about? What second child? Whatever. Lieutenant, are you alright? Yeah, sort of. I hold back the barks with all of my remaining strength. I'm really, really tired. I'm back, guys. You alright? Do you feel sick or something? Nah, no, not really. How the hell are you the only one still standing back there, man? Magic. Yeah, I was wondering that too. You don't want to know. Do you have some sort of device preventing you from keeling over? <laughs> Are you the chosen one we've been waiting for? The savior of our world? Don't, don't call me that, please! No, no, no need, no. Um, maybe it's the gene therapy I got back at the lab. What sort of gene therapy? Duna. The only thing I know is that it's highly classified because even I know what exactly, exactly what the hell they did to me. And you're fine with that? Well, I guess. I mean, they assured me it's safe and I got some amount of money out of it. What's not like? I see. I wish it was more money for more, plenty more. Well, if you don't mind me, I'm really tired right now. I'm going to sleep, okay? Alright. Sorry for keeping you from sleeping, ma'am. It's fine! Sayonara, people. <laughs> Who says this when they... No! You don't say something like this when Sweet you're going dreams, to sleep. Sweet dreams, bro. Night, Lieutenant. Okay. Let us end the episode here. We'll move on to day one in the next one. Ah. No, seriously, we should have been given for those treatments way more money. Because let me tell you a little secret. The prices in this game are ridiculous. End of story. Anyway, that was nice introduction. We'll get to the next day tomorrow. Which means I'll get to recording it today, actually. But 
the episode will be tomorrow as per usual. Hope you enjoyed, hope to hope you will enjoy also the rest of Just Desert, because it's pretty decent game. Uh, and I enjoyed it a lot and I'm pretty sure I will enjoy it again until the point we get to and then we'll find out what's going on next and so on and wait I should stop rambling have a great day bye bye